I was born in Natchez, Mississippi, and my mother moved us from Natchez up to the Mississippi Delta. And from there, we moved to a little small town called Kentwood, Louisiana. So all small towns. And Kentwood had a population of about 2,500 people, if everybody was home. And like a lot of people, I couldn't wait to leave the South, to get out of Kentwood. I mean, you have two kinds of people in the South. You have those who won't leave and those who can't wait to leave. And I was one of those who just couldn't wait to leave. So I joined the Air Force, and the Air Force was my way out. I really enjoyed the eight years that I spent in the Air Force. But an injury happened when I was bodybuilding, lifting weights in the Air Force, and that's what resulted in me seeing a chiropractor. Again, a defining moment in my life. I decided that I was going to become a chiropractor, and that's what I did for the next 21 years. I grew up in church, like a lot of people down south. We just, my mother took us to church twice on Sundays, and we, well, I mean, when every program at the church, we were part of every program. So I was kind of tired of it. So when I got out of, or when I left home, I kind of left the church for a while. I didn't go to church for probably maybe eight or ten years. I missed church, and I didn't know how much I missed it until I started going back. And when I walked into a church in Los Angeles called First Emmy Church in Los Angeles, it was like nothing I'd ever seen before. And I started continuing the relationship with, with the, the Lord even after I moved from LA to Phoenix. And ultimately, it led to a Bible study with a whole bunch of men. And that Bible study just grew and grew and grew. And this is one that you know I was leading, but I just it was just by the grace of God. I felt so unqualified, but every week more and more men were showing up to this Bible study that I was leading. And they started asking me, are you going to, is it going to be a church? Are you going to start a church? I didn't want to do that. I didn't feel like that was, again, what I was qualified for. But after a, a few years of that, I started feeling that God was calling me to pastoral ministry. I left my career as a chiropractor to become a full-time pastor. We have such great people in our church, so committed, so dedicated to the Lord, and that's, you can't ask for more. You cannot, as a pastor, ask for more than that. It makes me work that much harder. I'm not sure how God's gonna use us, but I think God's gonna use us in a mighty way. I am so privileged, so honored, so blessed to be part of this ministry. I mean, to God be the glory.